The situation in Britain is going from bad to worse these days. Uh, the latest chilling example of this was the recent Tommy Robinson event in Oldham where Greater Manchester Police shamefully became involved in terrorist activities carried out against not just Tommy but against innocent women and children who were there to hear him speak in his capacity as a European parliamentary candidate. Back in Tommy's EDL days, the extreme left and Antifa regularly attacked their marches whilst the police and media looked the other way. But in Oldham, it wasn't an EDL rally. It was a political meeting carried out in the name of democracy. And democracy was more than trampled on by not just the Muslim, the Muslim extremists who carried out the attacks, but by Greater Manchester Police themselves, who were complicit in allowing violence to be used to instill fear and terror in order to achieve a political aim, namely the shutting down of a political meeting during an election. And the dictionary definition of terrorism is as follows. The unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Rocks were thrown into the crowd by young Muslim men. This is unlawful. Uh, they were thrown not just at civilians, but at women and small children. And this violence was done in pursuit of a political aim. Everything about it qualifies as terrorism. Yet there were no arrests, even though the police were there in large numbers. Uh, it gets worse. Tommy deliberately chose his venue because it was well away from Muslim areas. So what did Greater Manchester Police do? They actually escorted a mob of Muslims chanting their war cry of Allahu Akbar to the venue in order that terrorist acts could be committed. And when the Muslim mob got there and engaged in acts of terrorism, look at the reaction from the police. Look at the way they turn their backs and pretend the violence isn't happening. Look at the face masks worn by some of the Muslims, which is illegal and should have meant their immediate arrest. But there were no arrests on the day, not one. I'll be brutally frank about the behaviour of Greater Manchester Police that day. They were not just allowing terrorist activity to be carried out without fear of arrest. They had actively escorted the terrorists to the venue. In the full knowledge, the mob were intent on terrorist violence, which sadly and shamefully means only one thing. If your opinions are not held by the cultural Marxist establishment, the police will take the side of terrorist violence used against you and they will do so in the full knowledge that not one senior officer will be held accountable by the government. Which means that nice Mrs May, who once said the Conservative Party was the nasty party, party is more than just nasty. This government is complicit in acts of terror carried out during a democratic political campaign. The far left actually neo-communist uh, Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn had an egg thrown at him recently. The culprit was arrested and jailed for 30 days. Nigel Farage had a milkshake thrown at him. The culprit was arrested and will no doubt be charged. When Tommy had a milkshake thrown over him, nothing happened at all, save the assailant being interviewed by the extreme left media outlets of the BBC and The Guardian, where he was held up as some sort of a hero. Uh, even the Conservative Party joined in with the thoroughly witless Johnny Mercer MP treating this illegal assault on our democratic rights as a joke. But liquids being thrown at people because they hold the wrong views might be milkshakes or they might be sulfuric acid, which isn't really a joke at all, is it, Mr Mercer? I wonder if this had occurred to the vainglorious yet intellectually ill-equipped Tory MP. Just imagine a slightly different scenario, a, a high-profile Muslim candidate in the EU parliamentary election holding a political meeting in Oldham in a Muslim part of town, but the police escorted a mob of masked white hooligans to the event and then stood idly by while they threw rocks at Muslim women and children. 
You cannot imagine that happening, of course, because it is unimaginable in England. Firstly, because we don't go around committing terrorist acts against those with differing political views, but even if we did, we would be arrested the moment the first projectile was unleashed, as we quite rightly should be. But we no longer have equality before the law in England. The English are now second-class citizens, particularly the working-class English, who can be treated with utter contempt, uh, not to mention illegally, uh, by the new totalitarian state, which is something so shameful and so chilling, and something our grandparents could never, ever have believed possible. Can it get worse? I'm afraid it can. The media should have been all over the wicked and terrifying reality of this, which was terrorist acts committed by Muslims in complicit alliance with Greater Manchester Police and the government itself. But the only media reports I've seen are written in such a way as to suggest the violence came from Tommy's supporters. And again, imagine this happening the other way around. And again, you cannot because it is unimaginable in England. So here we are, quite literally living in a dictatorship where the amiable old bobbies like Dixon of Dog Green have been replaced by a paramilitary police force which willfully engages in acts of terrorism against its own civilians. And what we really need to do is carry out a full-scale counter-revolution and sweep the terrorist-supporting traitor class from power. But that's in the future, I hope. Uh, two small things we can do today is write to Greater Manchester Police Chief Constable Ian Hopkins, who not surprisingly is also their lead officer for diversity, asking him why his police force were engaged in terrorist activity that day in Oldham, and also ask him whether he's going to prosecute this particular Muslim uh, for incitement to murder, because this tweet uh, saying kill him, kill Tommy Robinson, is actually up on the Greater Manchester Police Twitter site. So I will be chasing that up. I will be contacting Chief Constable Ian Hopkins about this. Uh, the second thing we can do, um, if you live in the North West, is to get out there on Thursday and vote for Tommy. The only thing we have in this country today is democracy, and the establishment and the police are trying to take that away from us. So it's important on Thursday you get out there and you get your vote in for Tommy. That's it from me. Thank you.